but they've garnered 18 out of 30 probably the team that you would least want to face off away from their place yeah that's true and but of course it's that mistake and Norman Namanya from a distance oh Tommy Kara what did you just do there that was a scorcher wow oh wow from a distance Norman Namanya has made it a habit on these grounds to pull an arcing shot to the back of the net and Abe Chikomeko Bokere knows that his team were caught cold. Drop and numb. What that does is that uh, it allows uh, URA to close in and I think they need to react better when it gets uh, to those aerial balls. Mwere, goalkeeper to the ground and an equalizer by Amos Kiria. The plague of the goalkeeper's eccentricism continues for URA. Different day, different goalkeeper, same catastrophes as Pool FC pick one back. Roger Zometwa leaves his gaffer quite astounded as to what exactly he was doing there. Well, the truth is that uh, it's uh, one of those uh, big errors again. In, in the same way, I'm sure that uh, David Oboa will be wondering what is wrong with his goalkeepers. You would have expected that Roger Zometwa comes out. Say Isalumu, Simon Peter Uzima picks it up find Kafumbe, Kafumbe crosses another delightful ball but um, this time Akim Chualuka couldn't get to it and another chance and it's a shot into the back of the net and it is uh, Charles Swanga what a finish that is for SC Villa in the 21st minute the kind of start that they definitely needed to ease on the nerves very good delivery coming in now uh, from uh, Joseph Kafumbe and the ball is uh, guided back into the path of uh, Charles Wanga by the header of uh, Hakim Tuanuka. Express needed to have been more decisive and affirmative in clearing their lines but they did not do that as Kafumbe delivered another cross. The header not as convincing from uh, Hakim Tuanuka but for Charles Wanga. Ball watching, they did not uh, try to go out there and head that ball out, which made it easy for Formado to get um, that um, contact on the ball. And that should be a warning to Wakiso Giants because uh, if they do not step up in the way they handle the aerial ball, then they're going to concede. Chance here. Easy stretching. And Viper Scott Club putting full utilization of the world team. Just managed to set themselves up here and take the lead. And that is typically what these fans have been waiting for. A chance to celebrate. It's up well. Squared forward. Now skipping away from the challenge here. Milton Carissa. He has options. Looks to square the ball. An on slaughter. And Alan O'Kello will double the tally. It was just too much. Way too much. In terms of firepower up front and that defense was again caught cold and double the tally it will be vipers are making this way too easy and do the delight of claire that's very good so news. it begins yeah that's very very good news uh Kushna, of course um and gladys those are two very very good players and um kudos to them for really representing uh the flag that well the long ball comes in damage done it was inevitable that he would get his name on the score sheet and he goes to the mind celebration here Salem Mohammed Ekbad makes it four for Vipers but you saw Giants were totally not at the races in this one yeah clearly you talk about a, a striker who gets himself in position in anticipation just like a lion that is uh, you know taking cover for his prey that's exactly what he did he just let the prey run into his space and he just grabbed.